it's that time. <clears throat> welcome, seriously welcome, to a John Legg Fragrance Review. Yeah, it's good to see you out there. Oh, this is fantastic. Right, okay. <clears throat> Ask me a couple of questions. Go on, fire away. I'm ready for it. <clears throat> Leggy, why have you got 3D glasses on? Why do you ask that one? I haven't got an answer for that one. Ask me another one. Go on. Go on. Leggy, why do you do reviews on YouTube? Ah, now I've got an answer for that one. I've got an answer for that one. I do reviews on YouTube because it is a hobby and I'm sharing this hobby and it's twofold. I want to share the fragrances with you and most importantly, I want to inspire you to wear a good fragrance every single day. Not just on a Saturday night, not just on a date night, not just on a Monday and then forget about it Tuesday and Wednesday, Thursday. Every single day. Wear a good fragrance. And trust me, I'll make you a leggy guarantee, a 100% leggy guarantee. If you wear a good fragrance on a day, that day is so much better. Trust me, you'll message me, you'll say, Leggy, you're right, it kept a smile on my face. I got whiffs of it during the day and it was so much better a day. Let's do a Johnny Leg fragrance review. Actually, I've worked out why I've got the 3D glasses on. They are to make this review seem a little bit more realistic. Okay, right, okay. 2015 saw the release of a legendary fragrance. I kid you not, this fragrance, I read a statistic recently that one bottle of this is sold somewhere in the world every something like 60 seconds. It is the best ever selling perfume fragrance, whatever you want to call it, Dior Savage. Now, 2015, within the first month, I'd got myself to Boots and I had bought basically a launch bottle, if you like, the original EDT, and I sprayed it. And I was like... <sighs> Wow, this fragrance is got beautifully sweet, well-balanced citrus at the top. It's got some beautiful sweet woods. Okay, there's a lot of ambroxan in there and there's some cedar wood and there's a little bit of vanilla. And it basically is a very, very, very charming and sexy guy's fragrance. You know, it's, it's definitely a masculine fragrance, even though it's quite sweet. This fragrance is absolutely amazing. Its downside is its popularity. We'll come to that in a minute. Okay, now when I first bought this fragrance and I first started wearing it, within the first couple of wears, I was very well aware that this seriously pulls female attention. Okay. Let's face it, they're not here for this. They were there for the fragrance. I was having these crazy conversations with random women and they wanted to stick around. They, like, they just wanted to stay in that scent bubble. They weren't there for me. They were there for the fragrance. Women absolutely love this fragrance. It has a women pulling charm. Now, I don't know whether it's the citrus. I don't know whether it's the woods. I don't know whether it's the ambroxan. I don't know whether it's a single note or whether it's the combination of notes. I guess it is. But they just absolutely love this fragrance. If you want female attention, get Savage by Dior. Okay, now, over the years, obviously, because this was so popular, they have launched several others. There's been an Extreme, there's been a, a De Puffian, there's been a several other ones. I can't remember. There's one in a funny aerosol can. And I've tried. I've been and sampled them all. But I have stuck with this original. Why have I stuck with the original a De Toilette, the EDT? It's because I don't think that any of them can beat the charm of this one. Okay, all right. I've sprayed it for lots of women. And every single woman just goes... Oh, Leggy. Oh, that's so nice. And they just, they don't want to leave your side because they want to stay being able to smell that smell. More so this than the Eau de Parfumie. More so this than the O Extreme or whatever the other one is and the Aerosol one. This one is, if you want female attention, my friends, get the original Savage. It never, ever fails. Okay. Savage Elixir. Okay, it's a fairly recent release. You can only buy it in 60ml and you have to remove around about £120 of British money from your wallet to pay for this beast. Okay. I'm not going to spray this at the moment. I will in a minute. 
But let me tell you that this has got hints of the original Sauvage. It's got a tiny bit of sweetness in there. And then it's basically a bottomless pit of spices. Okay, it is a very, very masculine scent. It's a very, very powerful scent. It sort of goes, instead of losing its, oh, it sounds really bad. It's kind of lost its sort of charm and it's gone very sort of serious. Okay. There's, yeah, there is the original sort of citrusy, sweety woods in there. There's a kind of a, a licorice note to this one, which gives it kind of like a very niche sort of smell. All right, I'll be honest with you. Whereas the original Savage is kind of very much a designer sort of fragrance, but well done. This elixir, Dior Elixir by Savage, oh, Savage Elixir by Dior, you know what I'm on about anyway. This one goes towards a niche style fragrance. I'm going to say it will cost an absolute fortune for the little Diddy 60 mil. Okay, there's a lot of spices in there and I'm going to say, although there's some sweet spices, there are... There's quite a few spices in there, which I would associate with sort of savoury food. I'm not saying that's bad. I'm just saying there's a nice balance of spices. This, I'm going to be honest, I love it. I rate it. The performance on this is, well, OK, the performance on the original is all day with a good trail off you. The performance on Elixir is no different. This is an all day fragrance with a good projection, a nice steady projection off you pretty much all of that day. Okay, I've sprayed this for a lot of females, and whilst they all go weak at the knees with the original EDT, this is the reactions I've had from Elixir. And it's, see, I smelt it and I went, oh, wow, that's amazing. That is awesome in terms of a smell. But for all of the females that I have sprayed this for, they've all gone, mm, it's okay, leg. it's a bit heavy. The one girl, she says to me, she said, it's still kind of sexy, but it would have to be on an older guy. Okay. Women don't particularly go as mental about elixir as they do with the original EDT. Now, let me, let me tell you the best way to approach this, because as a guy smelling, you go, oh, that's great, that's amazing, that's really good. Take your wife, your mistress, your girlfriend, your partner to a fragrance counter and before you splash out an awful lot of your hard earned money on the elixir because it's such a powerful scent, get her to smell it and tell you whether she prefers the original EDT or whether she prefers the elixir. I will warn you, she will most likely go for that, even though as a guy, you will go for that. I mean, I sprayed this at work for, I think it was one of the sales managers, and he just went, whoa, leggy, that's my kind of fragrance. And it is, it's a really, really deep, rich, masculine, high quality, niche kind of fragrance. And this, as a guy, you go, wow. But I don't wanna to totally rubbish it, but I will just warn you, Get your partner, Mrs. Whatever, to say which of the two she prefers on you before you spend out an awful lot of money. I could be saving you a lot of cash here because she'll probably say, I prefer the original. OK, but you're not really here to listen to me waffle about the original Dior, Savage and the Elixir. You are here to say, Leggy, is there a Latifer that does a similar job? Okay, there is, but I haven't got it here, so stay there. I will be back. Don't go anywhere. Be back. Now, let me tell you the story behind this Latifah Asad or Asad. I don't know how you say it. You know what? I'm an English guy trying to pronounce Arabic names. Forgive me. Right, now the story behind this one is I was, <laughs> I do that crazy thing that I do and I just go onto eBay and I put in Latifah and I'm like, I scroll down and I was like, God, 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 God. And I don't know what it is. When I see one I haven't got, it brings out a Scooby Doo in me and I was like, Reggie, and I was like, I haven't got this one. So I clicked on it thinking, maybe it'll give me a note breakdown. Maybe it'll tell me what it's all about because I'd never heard of it. And you know what, you know, on the description, I went in there and it just said a vanilla based fragrance. 
And I was like, come on, man. So guess what I had to do? I had to buy it now to find out what it's all about. And I got it home. No, I didn't get it home. I had it delivered. <sighs> Makes sense. And I sprayed it. And I was like, man, I've smelt it before, but I couldn't quite place it. It is. <sighs> okay, how can I describe a Latifah's ASAD to you? Or ASAD? Right, it's like a, a fuzzy sort of pineapple over a bucket load of spices. And once again, some sweet spices and some sort of savoury spices. So I don't know where this vanilla based fragrance thing came from on eBay. I mean, there may be a bit of vanilla in there. It's not a big player. I'm going to say there's probably some cedar wood in there and there's probably some other sort of sweet woods. There's a bit probably a little bit of ambroxan because that's kind of the base to it and all right when i first smelt it i say i was thinking i smelt that before i smelt it before but i couldn't quite place it and i wore it a couple of times and i got some fairly good reactions most people liked it i took it to work and most people rated it and one of the girls at work lovely girl i work with uh she uh this is a girl called emma She's super lovely. Uh, I digress, of course. <clears throat> and she smelt this and she went, Leggy, is that Dior Elixir? And I was like, oh, man, I'm so glad you said it because it sort of pointed me in the right direction that these two are kind of very similar. All right. Now, I'd, I had, to be fair, put two and two together and worked out the, the similarities before. But it was really nice having Emma say to me, Oh, that's a bit like Dior Elixir. Now, her boyfriend and her brother both wear it, so she was in a very good position to say that. Now, when I did a comparison, when I sort of worked out what it was with Assad and Elixir, I was kind of like, okay, so this has got, the Latifah has got a pineapple vibe over spices, and the Dior has got sort of like a citrusy, vaguey citrusy woods over spices with that sort of weird sort of licorice note in there. And I kind of was thinking, I can kind of see that there's a similarity, but I wasn't going to say it was a one-on-one -on -one clone, and I still don't think it's a one-on-one -on -one clone. In fact, let me spray it over here. Okay. The Dior is way much more intense on the spices, okay, with the licorice. This is the Dior has hardly got any sweetness at all. It's very much a spice bucket with a citrusy vibe over the top. The Latifah, the Assad, is very much a pineapple, a fuzzy sort of pineapple over those spices. But because the lovely Emma said to me, she said, oh, Leggy, yes, it's, it's very similar to Dior Elixir. I'm quite happy to tell you that if you want a cheaper version of the ridiculously expensive Dior, this Latifah does a fantastic job at being a clone. And I think, like I always say, if someone walked past and this was trailing off them, you would assume they'd spent the £120 on the diddy little Dior Savage Elixir. Okay, is there any downsides to the Latifah? All right, the Latifah, I get around about four hours. That's, for me, that's about average uh, for a Latifah fragrance. I get about four hours of the fragrance being with me. It's skin scent for maybe longer, on clothes for maybe a bit longer, but in terms of a scent bubble and a trail off me, I get about four hours. So, okay, so the Dior's got the edge on the performance, but then, wow, you're gonna ask me, how much did I spend on this 100 mil? Now, when I bought this on eBay, it cost me 19 pounds and 49 pence. And I was like, you know what? It's a little bit more than some of the Latifers, but it's not a ridiculous price. So I was quite prepared to try it. And to be fair, I would say I have been impressed with this in so much as, you know what? It sort of, it kind of means that you don't have to buy the silly money Dior because it does a very, very similar job. I'm not saying it's a one-on-one -on -one clone, but it's good enough 
And if you're prepared after four hours to top up, whereas you don't have to with the Dior, then I'm going to say, do the maths. This is just ridiculously the better bargain of the two. In fact, that's not even a bargain, the Dior. It doesn't even try to be. Okay, now, I hope I've given you enough information on this. I'm sorry, it's so sorry it has been a long video. Um, if you've got any questions, if you've got any thoughts, if you've got any comments, just drop them and I will, you know, within a couple of days, I'll try and get back to you. I always try and get back to you within a couple of days. And if you would consider a cheeky old thumbs up, if you'd consider a subscription, I would be honoured and I would consider it my privilege. So I really appreciate your time at this um, Johnny Leg fragrance review. I appreciate you coming to this channel and I would love to, love to see you next time for the next review. But in the meantime, do you know what you have to do? You have to stay safe. Please stay safe. And above everything else, you have to spray fragrance every single day. And don't say, Leggy, I did it Monday and then I forgot Tuesday. That's no good. You've got to remember every single day to spray that fragrance and it will keep a smile on your face and you'll message me and say, Leggy, I had a better day today because I had a good fragrance on. I really appreciate you coming to this channel. I'd love to see you next time. I'm going to leave you in peace now. Goodbye.